Hey, it's AJ and today we are going to go test out some low calorie holiday drinks from Starbucks. I did this video literally almost two years ago of me tasting like healthy Starbucks drinks in my car. So we're gonna do that, but healthy holiday edition. So I just ordered like five different drinks on my app. We're gonna go pick them up and then sit in my car and taste test them. So let's go. I'm here to pick up a mobile order for Alasia. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can I get, oh, you did it. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. And then I had a croissant, a ham and cheese croissant. Mm -hmm. Just one. Thank you. You too. Okay, I'm gonna go hide in this corner and taste all these drinks. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are we going? And this lighting is gonna be so good and cool. We're back and we have all of, ooh Lord. Ooh Lord, all of the drinks. Ta-da. So we have Two hot drinks and then the rest are iced. But I'm gonna go ahead and taste these. I got them all in talls because obviously I can't drink five grande drinks. This one is basically a lower calorie version of a drink I would normally get. The sugar cookie almond milk latte is what I normally order. Okay, so this one is just cold brew with one pump of sugar-free vanilla and one pump of cookie syrup, sugar cookie syrup. If you were gonna order a grande, then it would be two pumps of sugar cookie syrup and two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. And this one also just has like a splash of half and half. Okay, this one's pretty good. This tastes a lot more strong than the normal sugar cookie latte for obvious reasons, because it's cold brew, cold brew, cold brew. But it's actually pretty good. Like I would drink this, ow. I like it. It's not as sugar cookie flavored as, again, as the normal sugar cookie almond milk latte, but I actually do like it. So for this low calorie sugar cookie cold brew, I would give it like a seven out of 10. Like I would drink it. Next we have another cold brew. This is one pump of white mocha and one pump of peppermint and then oat milk like a splash of oat milk. So if you're gonna order a grande in this, then you'd get two pumps of each, I think. I'll have to double check. I'll leave all the links to the blogs that I found these lower calorie Starbucks drinks down below. So, it's so good! The funny thing is I don't even like peppermint, but this is actually delicious. <gasps> Oh, I like it a lot. It feels like Christmas in my heart. Uh, so even if you were just gonna drink a tall, cause sometimes I feel like I go to Starbucks just for the experience of going to Starbucks. Like I just like going. Even if we we're just gonna get a tall, it's so, so good. I think I'm gonna drink this one. So I'm gonna leave it over here. Oh, lower calorie white chocolate milk. No, what is this? I don't know what to call this. White peppermint mocha, white chocolate peppermint. I don't know. Oh, okay. So there were a couple of holiday themed drinks that I tried to make lower there are a couple of holiday drinks that I tried to make lower calorie. This is one of them. This one doesn't have a name, but if you were gonna get a grande, it's one pump white mocha, two pumps of peppermint. But I think just with one and one, it's good. Nine out of 10 for this one. Next we have another one that I tried to concoct myself. This one is one pump of caramel brulee and Irish cream cold foam. So that's what all this foam on the top is. The original drink, was caramel brulee and sugar cookie foam, but I couldn't make sugar cookie foam on the app, so I just didn't even worry about it. Cold brew, one pump of caramel brulee. If you're gonna get a grande, then two pumps of caramel brulee, and then this has Irish cream cold foam, but it probably would be delicious with sugar cookie foam, cold foam as well. Ooh, this one's good too. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Hmm. That's so good. So if you were gonna try and do it without the cold foam, my recommendation for a grande, because this is a tall, would be to do one pump of caramel brulee, one pump of Irish cream syrup, and then like oat milk or almond milk. And I think it would taste pretty good. 
This is my new favorite, nine out of 10. Nine and a half out of 10, so good. This is a tall Americano with one pump of sugar-free vanilla, one pump of white mocha, and almond milk. But if you're gonna get a grande, you need two pumps of white mocha and one pump of sugar-free vanilla. <laughs> Golly gracious. Oh gosh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I don't like it. It just tastes really watery. Mm -mm. Um, no. <coughs> no. 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 I don't know what else to say. Two out of ten. I don't like it. It is sweet enough for me. But it just tastes really watery. Which is probably because it's an Americano. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And it's 145 calories for a grande and it tastes like that? I don't think so. Oh. Duh, I have to tell you what this is. What is this? So this is a cafe misto with almond milk, one pump of chestnut, praline, and two stevia. If you were gonna get a grande, obviously order a grande cafe misto, substitute almond milk, and ask for two pumps of chestnut praline, and then one Splenda, or other zero calorie sweetener of choice. I got stevia because I don't like Splenda. Oh, this one's good. Okay, I like this one. Mm -hmm. I don't usually like hot drinks in general, but this one's actually really, really good. I say another 7 out of 10. Like, I probably wouldn't order it, but I would drink it. And again, apparently it's 80 calories for a grande, so yeah, delicious. Okay, so just like I did in my very first healthy, low-calorie Starbucks drink video, I'm going to rank all five of these in backwards order. So I'm gonna start with the one that I liked the least. I think we all know which one that is. This one, the white mocha, is disgusting. I don't like it. I blame the Americano part because it's mostly water and it just tastes like gross, sugary, weird water. I said two out of 10, that's pretty generous. Coming in at number five, the low calorie white chocolate mocha. Next is the lower calorie Sugar cookie, cold brew, I don't hate it. I just, it's not my favorite, so it's going number four. So number four, sugar cookie, cold brew, I don't hate it, I don't love it. I would drink it, but I wouldn't order it again. There's this guy behind me, hold on. What is he doing? <laughs> anyway, coming in at number three, this chestnut praline. I don't wanna give it number three, it's actually pretty good. Hold on, let me taste this one again. Oh yeah, that doesn't get number three. Coming in at number three, this Irish cream cold foam with caramel brulee. It's good, it just wasn't the best, so that's why it's top three. Number two, I'm gonna go with this chestnut praline latte. It's actually really good. I don't like hot drinks though, so that's why it's not number one. I've never had a cafe misto before. I don't even know if that's how you say it. Maybe if it wasn't hot, it would be number one, but it's number two because it is hot. Here it is, coming in at number one, best healthy holiday drink or low calorie holiday drink. It's going to be this one, the white peppermint mocha. Is that what it's called? Yeah, white peppermint mocha. It's just so good and it just tastes like Christmas spirit. Like that peppermint just makes me think of Christmas and all the joyous things of the holiday season. It gets number one on my holiday list. Would it get number one on my everyday list? Probably not. However, today came out on top. You go, girl. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you today. I'll leave all of the links to the blogs I found most of these drinks down below, as well as I'll try to figure out how many calories the ones that I kind of concocted are and leave those down below, as well as the recipes or the way you need to order them if you wanna try them out. If you do try any of these out, please comment below and tell me what you think. Let me know which one your favorite is, and I will talk to you guys really soon. Okay, love you, bye.